as we near this record high, if we go back and we look at past record high breaks, or if we eclipse the old all-time high, three of the four times Bitcoin doubled in 18 days or less. So Bitcoin just broke its all-time high at $69,000. And as Pompliano just explained, if we repeat what we did in 2013, 17, and 2021, we could be looking at a doubling of the Bitcoin price or a $138,000 Bitcoin much quicker than most people think is possible. But I think there's more to this story because we're actually going to go back in time we're going to look at all of the data and we're going to look at what the bitcoin next cycle top might actually look like because when you take an average of each bitcoin bull market in 2013 17 and 2021 we're going to show you the data for why we could be looking at a seven figure bitcoin price tag much sooner than most people think is possible. Now, the maths we're going to show you today is just based upon previous cycles repeating themselves. But what if the next cycle is different to prior cycles? And as Michael Saylor would say, what happens to all these wonderful models if 10 billionaires decide to buy $1 billion of Bitcoin each and announce we bought it, we're not ashamed of it, we're going to buy more. All your models are destroyed, completely devastated, Bitcoin goes to the moon. Okay, so before we zoom out and have a look at whether Bitcoin is going to break all of these cycles of diminishing returns and the rainbow chart, let's really analyze what we're going to expect in the following days, considering we just broke a new Bitcoin all-time high. So we can see on this chart here, I have three horizontal white lines on it. And we're going to look at what happens in the days and weeks following Bitcoin breaking its previous all-time high. Let's zoom in and have a look at that 2013 Bitcoin bull market in a little bit more detail. So I've put the chart on a daily chart and we can see that it only took Bitcoin 16 days to go from $35, its previous all-time high, to be worth around $70. So that's fast. That's explosive. But I want to show you something else about this 2013 Bitcoin bull market that I think is very interesting. Okay. So now I've added a couple of lines and charts on this 2013 Bitcoin bull market because the rally didn't really slow down after Bitcoin doubled uh, after it broke that all time high. So we can see the Bitcoin actually had a 700% rally in only 38 days. It had this massive parabolic blow off top only four months months after its halving. And then it had a big 85% correction before going on another parabolic bull run from $100 all the way up to $1,300. Now, again, we're going to revisit why I think the next coming cycle could look a little bit more like the 2013 cycle and why we could see two parabolic spikes in 2024 and 2025. And again, have a look at the 2017 bull market in a little bit more detail, okay? So it took 16 days for Bitcoin to double following that 2013 all-time high break. 2017, it took us 38 days for Bitcoin to rally from $1,200, which was its previous all-time high, to be worth around $2,700, okay? So it actually rallied somewhere around 130% in 38 days. So again, a very fast rally. That is in one month's time, Bitcoin essentially doubling. Okay, it was very quick and we saw something similar in 2020. So in 2020, Bitcoin rallied from $20,000 to $40,000 in pretty much 38 days before it had a little correction. So if history repeats, we've shown here that it takes on average around 25 days for Bitcoin to double following those all-time high breaks. So Bitcoin just broke its all-time high at $69,000. If Bitcoin repeats history, we should be expecting a $138,000 thousand dollar bitcoin price tag in 25 days now don't get me wrong that's bullish okay and this is only looking at what's happened in the past okay nobody knows what the price of bitcoin is going to do in the short term especially me we're just showing you hey look bitcoin can rally explosively following these all-time high 
price breaks, okay? Now, what can we expect when we actually zoom out and have a look at the overall bull market we're living in today in 2024, okay? Most people were more interested about when the top is going to actually come in Bitcoin, and so am I. So let's have a look at previous bull markets. And we can see that Bitcoin typically has a very explosive bull run that happens in less than 12 months. And historically, these explosive 12-month bull markets have occurred between December's, okay? So quarter three and quarter four are the best quarters for Bitcoin on a seasonal basis. Um, so, and that is typically when these bull markets begin and end, okay? So let's have a look at what happened in 2011. Bitcoin rallied from $12 to $1,200 in only 12 months. That was a 100X rally. Bitcoin also did something similar between December 2016 and December 2017. It rallied from $600 to $20,000, and that was a 33X rally. Now we saw something similar, but on a smaller kind of multiple in that 2021 Bitcoin bull market. We saw Bitcoin rally from $17,000 to $69,000. Now again, I've talked about all of the reasons for why I think the 2021 bull market was an anomaly and maybe something we should ignore considering Bitcoin was being attacked from all different angles in 2021. We had the Bitcoin China mining ban. We obviously saw FTX selling a bunch of paper shorts on Bitcoin, and they were one of the biggest exchanges in the Bitcoin space at the time. And we saw Operation Choke Point 2.0. These were all attacking the Bitcoin price. So we're going to talk about why we should ignore the 2021 bull market multiplier in a moment, but let's actually consider it in our data for now. So let's look at what we should expect in this coming cycle. So we've seen a 100x rally. We've seen a 33x rally. And we've seen a 4x rally. Let's take the average of all of those. So that actually gives us an average 45x Bitcoin bull market multiplier. And let's assume that this bull market has already begun, okay? We know that Bitcoin's rallied very explosively over the past four months. And let's assume that this bull market began at around $30,000 uh, per Bitcoin. This was kind of just before the Bitcoin ETFs were launched. Well, if we assume that Bitcoin does what it has done in 2011, 2013, 2017, and 2021 moving forward. So when you do this, you can see pretty clearly, if you assume the bull market began at $30,000 per Bitcoin, you add that 45X Bitcoin bull market multiplier on it, that takes us to a price tag of $1,000,000 $300,000 per Bitcoin in the next 12 months, okay? Now that, again, I'd like to remind you, includes the data of the 2021 Bitcoin bull market. We saw what I believe is a muted Bitcoin bull market. What happens if you take that bull market out of the data and you just look at what happened in 2013 and 2017? Well, things get even more bullish. We can see here, we have an average Bitcoin bull market multiplier of 66x. So now again, let's assume the Bitcoin bull market began at about $30,000 per Bitcoin. And all of a sudden, if you go $30,000 times 66 and a half, you are actually looking at a $2 million Bitcoin within the next 12 months. Now again, these numbers are bullish, but I'd like to remind you, this is just looking at previous Bitcoin bull markets and assuming that Bitcoin just repeats what we've seen in the past. I genuinely think there's an argument to be made that we could actually see a bull market even bigger than what we've ever seen before in Bitcoin's life. When you start looking at the supply suffocation, we can see going on on exchanges right now, as well as all of the Bitcoin being hoovered up by all of these nine new Bitcoin spot ETFs. There's a number of reasons for why Bitcoin could actually do a super cycle. So if you want to learn all of those reasons for why we think Bitcoin has the potential to do a Bitcoin super cycle, check out the recent video we filmed on that topic. I'm going to pop a link to it up on screen right about there. And with all that said, let us know in the comments down below. Do you think Bitcoin can double in the next 25 days? And where do you think the next Bitcoin top is going to be? Let us know in the comments down below and we'll catch you all in the next video.